So what is ITV telepresence? I think we need to advance one more time to get more data. Uh, so it's ITV Internetwork Television. So here I am in a classroom and you all can see me from wherever you are. We also can connect these ITV rooms together. Um, next. And this allows you to really feel like you're there. And I have to say, I know um, if you're sitting there in A418, probably of the same kind of experience where everyone is very large, large as life. So it really is quite different from when I'm at home in my home office. Um, as Dr. Friedman was, is noting. Um, next slide, please. So the capabilities of this system means that we can join the classroom conferences and meeting rooms. Um, next. We can extend classes and meetings across both of our campuses. Next. Students can join remotely, just like you are joining remotely from your home today. Next. <clears throat> and also content can be presented wirelessly. So students can do that from their phones or tablets or Chromebooks. And also the uh, faculty can do that as well. Next. And also we can record lectures from these spaces. So you can get a much higher quality recording than you would from your typically from your home. Next slide, please. So the support, I'm going to turn that over to Yuris Pujols to talk a little bit about the support for ITV classes that we've put into place. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you, Tricia and Lisa. First of all, I just want to say congratulations to Dr. David Clark. Very well uh, deserved recognition. Um, I I ITV, it's, um, it it's a uh, we talked about it at uh, College Service Day. Uh, we just wanted to kind of keep you to, up to date with what are the latest developments and essentially what are some tools that might be beneficial to you and for your students. Um, so, so we want you to know exactly what is available, what type of support you're going to get. Because usually when you talk about a new technology, you're always, you know, like I, I know I get hesitant, like, oh my God, would that work? When I turn the button, is that actually going to turn on and so on? But we just wanted to let you know that if you're teaching an ITV class, fully ITV class, there are going to be two lab assistants assigned, one at each location to make sure that everything goes seamless. As Trisha mentioned, this technology is uh, really designed for educators. You just need to be a content expert. You don't need to be a technologist or a master of any of these uh, gizmos and, and things. Uh, we wanted to let you know that there's also going to be an academic coach assigned to your class. As you're going to be dividing your time before, between both campuses, there will be, you know, you're going to be physically at one location and there will be an academic coach at the other location, making sure that if there's any uh, items, you know, any support needed, that that will, that will be there. Uh, here you have a small uh, block in the center of the page that tells you the classrooms or the spaces, I should say. L418, which is where Trisha is today, is one of the classrooms. It's a large classroom. It's right now is uh, prepared for social distance that you, you could have students there, uh, similar as uh, N504. We have smaller meeting rooms, one at, North, one at um, Journal Square, which is where uh, Courage is and what he presented this morning. That's the office that Dr. Friedman like, like to use when he's there for, for meetings. And he's always telling how, how colorful and, you know, like people, oh, you laughed. And, you know, like you are able to catch all of these things that would, not, would normally not be noticeable in a regular presentation. So. Um, uh, if you don't mind uh, advice, uh, advancing the slide, please. You know what ITV is, what the format is, but we, we are faced with a, in a very, uh, in, in a predicament dealing with COVID-19. We've done a great job, I think, um, uh, adapting to change, coming up with innovative ways to make sure that one, we are not compromising our, our health, and two, that we are promoting student success as, as best we can, right? It, the call that I wanted to make out to you is that these spaces that we mentioned, ITV provides the most flexible options for teaching during this environment. You know, that, that's, that was not what we were thinking when this first came out, but if you are teaching a remote class, right, and you might not have the best uh, uh, space, might not have the best connection, the internet uh, might not work as well where you are, you know, you're welcome to come to campus. You could come in, you, you could do the same uh, thing that Trisha's doing, just turn on one of those rooms 
and all, of you, all your students could uh, log in remotely. By doing that, you're not there with anyone else in, in the room, so there's no contact, and your students are home. You just have access to so much more to do there. Uh, we also want to encourage you to think outside of the box. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who teaches a class called me. He's like, hey, what if I, I, I'm teaching a remote class, but what if I want to give students the opportunity to come to campus? Some of them could benefit from that. You know, that's a conversation that we could have as well, in the sense that, you know, maybe you could come to campus, you could do the same thing as Trisha is doing. Those classrooms are set up to have um, social distance. So you could have maybe three or four students that want to come in, they could come in and the rest of your students could sign in remotely. There's so much you could do again. There's so much, uh, there's so much flexibility. And uh, there's a training component that we have, um, a flyer that it's, um, there's a flyer that we are circulating in addition to the flyer that we're promoting training every Tuesday at 10 a.m., every Thursday at 2 p.m. This is training that you could access uh, in person. Like, you just need to send an email to Amal Akbar and it's listed on the flyer. You could come in in person to North Houghton. You could come in in person to Journal Square, or you could log in remotely. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about this, uh, this technology. We're also going to circulate the space availability. You know, if you're teaching a class, just think about it. And uh, any questions, any concerns that you have, you know, we're here to help you and provide the, the support that we need. With that, uh, I thank uh, Elisa uh, for, for the opportunity and for Lisa and Trisha to present it with me. Enjoy the rest of your semester. And uh, Trisha, back to you. All right, thank you. Next slide, please. So, you'll, as Juris was saying, and if you uh, will, you just advance again, um, you'll be seeing more email coming out about workshops, there's a module within Canvas, and you can always attend these workshops. And also there's our My Hudson WebEx resources page. If you go to that slash web, My Hudson slash ITS, you'll see the WebEx resources page there. So you can see access uh, recordings and find out what else is happening live. And uh, I think that's our final slide, but go ahead and advance for me. Uh, 